Yo, what's good, man? It's your boy DT3, man, and I'm big here to with another video, man. New media notification game. God's word. It's what it is, man. Look, check this out. Earl Spence Jr. is going to beat Danny Garcia. And I'm going to tell you why. A lot of people, from mainstream media to the people in the YouTube box community, are having this real question about Earl and fighting Danny Garcia. Saying that they don't know how he's going to be able to stand up to getting hit and getting punched, right? Saying that they don't know how much this accident is going to affect him in this fight, right? But I'm here to tell y'all right here, right now, that this accident will not affect him in this Danny Garcia fight. And I'm going to tell you why. In the reports after the accident, post the, the accident, you did not hear of any brain trauma, any concussions, none of that, any brain contusions, none of those type of head injuries that you would mainly hear in a car accident. You didn't hear about it. What did we hear, box community? A couple of cracked teeth, some scrapes, and some bruises, no broken bones. All right? No head trauma whatsoever. Just a couple cracked teeth, scrapes, some bruises, no broken bones. No head trauma. So all of y'all that's sitting there worried about, oh, will he be able to take a punch? He never, he never suffered any head trauma. Any head trauma. Fuck severe. Any head trauma. So it was never any damage done to his head physically. Now, maybe emotionally because of, of the, the accident in itself, he may have some issues mentally. But as far as something physically damaging him mentally, no. Nothing. No reports, nothing. No no uh, concussions, no severe headaches or or contusion. None of that stuff. None of it. The only thing mentally he had to deal with was just the mental aspect of the mistake that he made and how was he going to go about it going forward and having a mental fortitude to face his actions in the public. That's the only mental issue that Earl Spence have had since that car accident. But no head trauma whatsoever did Earl suffer in the car accident. None. So the question of will he be able to take a punch is irrelevant. He should be able to take a punch pretty pretty damn well. The man sparring all the shit. And one thing I will tell you is Earl Spence, if you look at Earl, look at Earl. That man is hungry. All he doing is eat, sleep, shitting, pissing, boxing right now. That's all he's doing. Since he was been since he's been cleared to work out before he even got the Danny Garcia fight. The moment he was cleared to go back to the gym and work out. Not when you see him in the gym talking about, yeah, I'm in the gym and this nigga got sweatpants on, tennis shoes and shit. Not that bullshit. I'm talking about when you actually knew that he was in the gym. From the moment you knew he was in the gym, Earl Spence Jr. been in the gym every day. Eat, sleeping, shitting, pissing, walking, talking, boxing. That's all he been doing. Can't, I can't say that about Danny. That don't mean that Danny ain't training good. That don't mean that Danny is not preparing in the best way. He know how to get ready for Earl Spence Jr. But he ain't hungry in the way that Earl Spence Jr. is hungry. Look at that man in the eyes when they do interviews. When they did that interview, I think it was on uh, Fight Hub TV. If it wasn't, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it was on Fight Hub TV. And they did an interview. And you could look at Earl. You could just hear in the way he was talking. That man hungry. And he coming for some shit. He's coming because he has something to prove. He got something to prove. He got a lot more people doubting him than Danny Garcia. A lot of people are doubting Earl Spence because of the accident. And they thinking that he's taking a high, a caliber, a high caliber opponent too soon. And in some instances, I kind of agree with that. But at the same time, we're not Earl. We don't feel what Earl feel. We don't think what Earl think. And we don't know how Earl feels about this moving forward. So if Earl, for whatever reason, feel like he could take this fight and win, evidently he must feel that he's okay to do it. And who are we to tell him otherwise? Because I think if he knew that taking this fight would physically damage him, Going forward to where he wouldn't be able to possibly fight again or do anything to be able to provide for his family. I don't think Earl is taking that risk. In all honesty, I don't think he's going to take that risk. So the fact that he's taking this fight as the first fight back after the accident lets me know that bruh is really not as injured as far as head trauma as much as y'all want to make it out to be. Earl is good, bro. 
Earl is good. Earl is hungry. And I'm telling you, he going to beat Danny Garcia. Because Danny is not hungry like that. Danny coming to fight. He coming to make a good, decent fight of it. But he not hungry on the same level as Earl Spence. Because Danny Garcia don't have as much to prove, if anything to prove, as Earl Spence do. Danny Garcia win the fight, then everybody going to sit there and make all the excuses in the world, especially Earl Spence fanboys. They going to make all the excuses in the world. He just came off a car accident, and it was this, or it was head trauma, and, and he wasn't ready, blah, 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 which will discredit Danny Garcia's wins, which I believe they shouldn't do that because Earl felt he was, he was willing and ready to, to fight Danny, and he could beat Danny. So if that's the case, don't shortchange Danny if he beat Earl. But I think Earl going to beat him because Danny not... Danny just not hungry. And Danny is too much of a counterpuncher. And Earl is too long and too rangy. And he ain't gonna get caught with too much stupid shit, if anything, in my opinion. I just I just feel stylistically that what what Danny will be waiting on, it ain't gonna never be there. The punch he's looking for is not going to be there. I promise you, when the fight is over, the punches that Danny's gonna be looking for, it's not gonna be there. Danny is not aggressive enough to stay in Earl's chest like that, like Sean Porter was, like he was, like Sean Porter. Sean Porter stayed in the pocket the whole time. Earl Spence know how to really go back and forth, side to side. So Sean Porter is always in the pocket. Always. It's no break in the action with Sean Porter. Earl, you're going to get a little break here or there. You're going to get a little movement here or there. He showed that in the Sean Porter fight, even in the Mike Garcia fight. He's going to give you a little movement here or there. And he's going to give you a jab to deal with as well. And I think that's what's going to be the difference maker in this fight. It's going to be Errol Spence jab. Mark my words. I honestly believe Errol Spence jab is going to be the difference maker in this fight. I promise you. But... I honestly believe that people are looking over Errol Spence because honestly Errol Spence has a lot more to prove and he's showing and he he's showing that he feels that he has a lot more to prove. He got a chip on his shoulder and he's trying to get this monkey off his back and he's gonna get take that bitch off on Mikey on not Mikey on Danny Garcia. I really believe that Danny don't he not ready for what Earl finna bring him. Cause Danny is not eat, sleeping, shitting, pissing, walking, talking, boxing. Earl is, at least right now. And honestly, this Earl Spence is dangerous. And he, he dangerous for everybody, even Terrence Crawford. Any hungry fighter, no matter who they are, I don't care if they got 10 losses, any fighter that has a, a high level of hunger to be successful and win in this sport will always be dangerous. And right now, Based on what I'm seeing with Earl, that motherfucker is dangerous. I'm still picking Crawford to beat you. But I, at the same time, I give you your props and say, this Earl that I'm seeing right now, I like what I'm seeing. And this Earl Spence is a dangerous man. He's a bad man. And he's going to be something to deal with. But I'm going to let y'all know. Earl had no reports came forth about any head trauma on Earl Spence. Any head trauma. So as far as talking about you don't know if he's going to be able to take a punch and all that like the motherfucker not sparring light heavyweights. Because that's who he spars, light heavyweights. He don't spar people his size. Everybody he spar is either a light heavyweight or a super middleweight. And he's sparring them as we speak for this fight. I think he'll be alright. I think he'll be fine. If you like the video, like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell icon so you can be notified. Every time I hit y'all with some hot shit, follow me on Instagram at DT underscore boom. Follow me on Twitter at DBoyWSO, man. You already know who it is, man. It's your boy, DT3, new media notification game. God squad. It's what it is, man. One.